Today, you're gonna learn how to use ChatGPT to make YouTube videos. But there's one small problem. ChatGPT can't edit videos for us, but don't worry, I'm gonna be using a second tool which is called Vid.io, an online video editor, by the way, I work there, which allows us to create videos without having to record our voice or any footage. And trust me, they look pretty good. So, write a YouTube video script on the financial crash of 2008. And as you can see, it actually starts to write a script about the financial crash of 2008, which is insane. And now while it generates, you need to understand that this is gonna help you massively creating content. And now obviously you don't wanna just copy and paste everything it generates, but it helps you build outlines. It does help you do research. I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly how the financial crash of 2008 went. However, here in five steps, they've given me the timeline of the financial crash and why it happened, okay? And then to get more dirt, we could do this. Tell me something not many people know about the financial crash of 2008. Okay, boom, hit it again. One thing that not many people know about the financial crash of 2008 is that it was not just caused by the housing market bubble and risky mortgage lending. And see, this is where the magic is. We're not just gonna ask it one question, but actually to do research, we can then keep on asking questions and keep on keep on poking and then this is something that i could incorporate into the script now that we've got the script i'm not going to go through the details of actually editing it right so we're just going to copy the actual steps and the conclusion and then i'm going to head over to vid.io then i'm just going to click new video create project and remember we're not going to have to actually record anything nothing in the microphone nothing uh, on a camera so we're just going to start with a blank project so i'm just going to go blank canvas and the first thing i'm going to do is actually click on text to speech and then i'm going to paste okay so we're 500 characters over the limit i'm going to remove cut this out Add to project. Veed is then going to generate the transcript. So let's listen. In the early 2000s, the global economy was boom. Okay, so as you can see, I've got this lovely text to speech and I can change the voice. Um, so I'm going to go to media again and I want to get the second half of the script. Now let's delete that, paste the second half, and I can change it. The financial crash of 2008 sent shockwaves. Okay, I'm just going to leave it with Jenny. We're going to zoom out, place my playhead at the end right here and then add to project again. Okay, so now we've got our full script, which is spoken out. And now if I just play it back from the beginning. In the early 2000s, the global economy was booming, thanks to low interest. As you can see, I have an entire video script in spoken word, thanks to Veed's text-to-speech. Now what I'm gonna go and do is actually go back to their media, and here we've got some built-in stock videos. So here, I'm just gonna type in financial crash. So I'm literally editing a video just by searching and asking questions. So let's see, um, let's start with this one. And basically this is what I'm gonna keep on doing. And a good tip is to actually try and match up the stock footage with what's being said in the audio or in our script because it helps tell the story. So for an example here, uh, it was going on about the fact that people were buying a lot of real estate. So I can just go to media, click on search, and then I can type in real estate. Okay, here in the audio, I'm just gonna make a quick cut because I think the gap's too large. So I just trim that, stick it back together. And here's another quick creative. In the stock footage, they've got some nice, nice green screen ones. So I can just add a quick green screen, select it, choose the green color, change the sensitivity, get rid of all the green, Oop, not the red. There we go, now look at this. But behind the scenes, many banks and financial institutions were making risky investments with the money they were lending. How cool is that? Okay, so I've just spent a fair amount of time adding some stock footage and now you can spend as long as you like on this, but just for the purpose of this video and this tutorial, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Once you've actually added the video, the next thing you wanna do is render it one time with solely the audio and you're gonna understand why in a second. So I'll just click on export and I wanna choose the highest quality possible. So I'm just gonna choose HD and then click on export. And then V takes only over between a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the length of the video to render it. Once it's rendered, I'm gonna bring it back into the editor and then you're gonna understand why I have done this. Chicken break. Okay, so now it's finished. As you can see, we've got the video right here. In the early 2000s, the global... But I'm just gonna click on download. Download as MP4. Then I'm going to go back to Veed, create another project. Wait until this is finished downloading. And once it's finished, just drag it into Veed. So now I've got all of the video on one timeline. And the reason I've done this is because I'm now gonna click on subtitles, automatic subtitle, create subtitles based on the language that I'm or not that I'm talking in, that Veed, the text-to-speech is talking in, then it's gonna generate subtitles automatically with the correct timestamps 
based on the video's audio. And as you can see, now I've got subtitles in the timeline and on the video. And now I'm gonna do a little bit of customizing. So first I'm gonna place them in the middle. I'm also gonna to go to style and change the text. Um, I like this one because it's plain and simple. I like making it a little bit smaller though, so it's not as in your face. And now if I play this from the beginning, oh, actually, the next thing you wanna do is go to audio and then here you wanna search for stock audio. And again, they've got a built-in library of all the audio you want. So you just wanna search around and find the audio you need. Okay, I think this one could, okay, I think this one could work. Let's play it. In the early 2000s. Okay, I like my subtitles to be on one line, so I might drag this out just a little bit like that. Um, now we can't necessarily read them super well, so I might go to the style, change the color yellow, make it a little bit of a darker yellow, then effect color. We've got some drop shadow on, just the effect color I need to make it, yeah, clearer and dark like this. In the early 2000s, the global economy was booming. Okay, now this subtitle on two lines, um, thanks to low interest rates. So I can actually cut this in two. What I can do to make it even more dynamic, I'm just gonna make this really wide. To make it even more dynamic is I can go into styles and under animation, I can actually animate it, right? So it comes in like this. It's kind of up to you as to what you would like. I like the look of this scale in one. So if we take a look. In the early 2000s, the global economy was booming thanks to low interest rates and a surge in housing prices. And then that is pretty much it. What we might want to do is just turn up the audio on this track and then maybe turn down the music just a little bit so it's not too much in your face. And a surge in housing prices. People were buying homes at record rates and banks were lending money freely to anyone who wanted to buy. And that is how I use ChatGPT to make Cash Cow YouTube videos. And you can ask ChatGPT for any kind of story and any information, compile it into a script, text to speech it in Veed, add stock footage, music, subtitles, all automatically pretty much. Hit export, burn the subtitles in, make sure that's toggled, export video, and there you have it. A YouTube video made with AI. Artificial intelligence is helping us make crazy content these days. So go and try this stuff out. Links to everything I mentioned in the description below. Also links to the final end result. Gonna be one there too. And uh, any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And I wanna know what have you been creating with ChatGPT. Peace.